Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. You know, this is basically an update on a previous video from quite a while back. I have noticed in my uh, research on how my channel is doing that the video that gets the most views and likes are the most views, I'm sorry. Is trucking worth it anymore? The uh, most common question that I am asked is can I make a living in tru as a truck driver? Well, That answer depends upon you. Now, first off, you've done the right thing. You found my channel. I'm not trying to blow my own horn, but I've got damn near 30 years in out here. I'm getting ready to retire in two more years. Barely over it. And uh, then if I'm not totally out of truck and I'm only going to have a little toe in it, I'm coming off the road. I have nothing to gain by lying to you. I'm not one of these modern day YouTube truckers that's got all the drama going and all the nonsense. I am a no sugar added type person. I'm going to tell you the truth according to how I see it. Whether it hurts your feelings or not. Whether it's what you want to hear or not. And can you make a living truck driving? Most people can. There's some that cannot. The more successful ones have done a little bit of homework before they got into trucking and or they pick up on it quick. If you think that you're going to come out of here and sit in this captain's chair and hold this steering wheel talking on the phone and just sightseeing driving down the road and that's your mentality you're going to have a hard way of it point blank. Now, on the other hand, if you did a little homework, such as go into my playlist, go find mine So You Want to Be a Trucker, and watch them videos, and start learning that it is a lifestyle out here, not a job. If you're going to come out here and treat this like a 9 to 5 job, you're going to fail. This job requires some dedication and it requires some thinking. Despite what you hear about truck drivers, is it some dumb, edgy, uneducated people that that's all they can do is drive a truck. You're wrong. You'll find all kinds of people out here, to be honest with you. Lawyers, doctors, engineers, preachers, you name it. People from all walks of life that got tired of what they was doing and decided they wanted to get away from it all, get isolated, and do something different. Go see the country. Now, if you watch my videos, there's some of them where I'm trying to explain to you some of the things that you need to watch for to help you pick out a good starter company. If you watch those videos, you'll find out 
I'm trying to explain to you places to go for your training and different ways about doing it. It requires some homework. A lot of people ask, what's the best company to start with? There ain't no such thing as the best company to start with. It's a matter of the company that suits your needs. Now you have to figure out what your needs are. Go watch some of my videos. You know, I keep saying that, but let me explain something. Now my people that, my subscribers that's been with me a while, they know me. But let me explain something to you. I had some real bad life experiences happen to me a few years ago. A lot, I lost a lot of people real close to me, real fast. And I went into a downward spiral. And to get me out of this downward spiral, one of my children got me, begged me, uh, harassed me into starting this YouTube channel. I didn't want to start it. I didn't know about YouTube. Wasn't interested in YouTube. But to get my mind off the, the death and the loss that I had experienced, he got me to start this channel. And I liked it. Once I got over the aggravation of him bullying me into it. And I took to it like fish to water. The only thing is, is I'm a straight up honest person. So I wouldn't sugarcoat stuff. And I had people like yourself that was asking me questions on one video that asked this and asked this and I kept to respond to them I'm not real good at that typing stuff so to respond to them I made videos as answers I wound up with a whole lot of videos and you'll find out they're truthful if you uh, join on the live streams You'll see I have several people that have been with me for quite a while that started with me before they got their CDLs and got into trucking. And they'll all tell you that the stuff in my videos is the truth. I have nothing to gain from lying to you. I don't do drama, all that nonsense. That ain't me at all. I don't play it. So go watch my videos and listen to them and learn. Even though you don't understand them, listen to them and learn. And eventually you'll understand. Once you're out here, you'll be saying, oh, that's what that old fart meant. Okay. So even if it don't make sense or you don't think that could really happen, yes, it can. Whatever it is, yes, it can. There are possibilities of you getting your CDL and getting that ideal local job. It happens. You got to work for it. You got to figure it out. How to make it happen. There's some pretty decent companies out here. You got to figure out which one they are. What's the old saying? You got to kiss a lot of toads before you find the prince. It's a fact with trucking. We got a lot of toad companies out here. The secret to being a success in trucking is regardless who you de start, decide to start with, Stay with that company. Tear their equipment up learning, because you will. Keep your eyes open, your mouth shut, and listen. God gave you two ears and one mouth for a reason. Listen more than you speak. Ask questions if you're not understanding. When you have the opportunity, talk to some other drivers. 
get to know some drivers and exchange some personal information so the contact information excuse me so that you can talk to them the people that you go to school with get some phone numbers and names especially if they're going to other companies and y'all start forming your own little network and y'all talk today on these kind of phone you do conference calls do conference calls with each other and y'all share your experiences of where you're at share your losses your failures your wins your victories share this stuff and start trying to figure out trucking and, and I always tell everybody you need to stick it out two years with your parent company with a company you start with you really need to stick it out two years if you'd stick it out two years and keep a good driving record that means no tickets or only one or two keep them way down no real accidents you're going to have your oops you're going to bump this and that it's part of learning we all know that but keep them to a minimum and two years with that initial company and you can damn near write your own ticket where you want to go in the trucking industry and I say damn near there's still some that won't take you but the majority will with two years experience With two years experience, you can damn near be making the money I make. And I make fairly decent money. But you got to get that two years and you got to do your homework. You have to actually apply yourself and start trying to figure out trucking. You have to form mentally that this is a rolling prison cell and you're the convict. And you have to stay here. You have to keep that door shut. And you got to keep this thing rolling. That's how you make your money. If you're one of these, or when your day's over, you've done drove your hours out. If you're going to go back here in the box and play video games, watch TV, whatever, for three or four hours. And then you're going to go to bed and sleep eight hours. And now your 10 hour break that you're required to take has turned into 12 or 14. You're going to have a problem. If you learn how to hustle, you make a living. There's so many young ones that come out here and fail because they don't have no work ethics. They have not been taught how to work. They have no self-motivation. They're used to someone driving them and making them clean their room and do their homework and, and all this stuff. The good companies out here ain't going to tolerate that. They expect you to put your big boy pants on and you go do your job without them having to babysit you. What I do is I do what's called LTL, less than truckload. That means I have multiple stops. I can have anywhere from one stop to 12 plus stops. And it's up to me to do the paperwork and the mapping and figure out how to get to each of these stops in a timely manner and to get it off of this truck as quickly as possible. Our office over here behind us, because I'm on the yard, they are not going to do that for me. If they have to do that for me, they don't need me. They'll let me go. 
thus far we do have a little bit of a high turnover rate here because so many of these youngins they can't do it they've not been taught how to work or how to think I know that sounds mean I'm sorry it's the damn truth that's what we're turning out today If it's the truth, it ain't hate speech. It's just the truth. Now, where do you fit in? Which one of these categories are you? Be honest with yourself. Because once you come out here, the truck, the, the, the industry is going to sort the wheat from the chaff pretty damn quick. Speaking of sorting it out, one of the biggest causes for people to come into trucking and get out, they come in because they think they're going to make fast bucks. They believe that recruiter on, you'll make big bucks. And eventually you can. And it depends upon your definition of big bucks. But what they don't understand is that you're going to be trapped in this truck after you get out from your trainer by yourself. Now, how are you about being by yourself? And you'll stop, you'll go in, you'll talk to a receiver, and it's not like you're, hey, buddy, what'd you do this weekend? And I'm remodeling a car, and da da da. It ain't like that. You go in there and I'm Papa Joe with LWT. I'm picking up a load. Here's my load number. Here's my trailer number. And they'll say, all right, man, that's cool. Go to door such and such. You're done with them. That's it. That's your communication. Now, maybe if the line's long enough, there might be another truck driver there and you get talked to him for a few minutes while you're waiting for your turn at the window. <coughs> you might speak to someone casually when you fuel or get your fuel receipt or at the receiver or at the yard here in the morning. I'll talk to a handful of people. But after a few minutes, and my stuff's done. I climb back in this truck by myself and I go trucking. And I'm by myself all day. Now, how are you about being by yourself? I literally tell people this is a rolling prison cell. And it is. You're in solitary confinement. Luckily, in this day and age, these things came out. Man, I talk to people all the time. I have a network of people I talk to. Once you come out here, that's something else people find out. And I know this is dragging out, but if you're interested, you're still here. If you're not interested, you're gone. But that's something else that people find out is that once you come out here and you're doing your deal after just two or three months, six months at the most, you're going to find out that all these friends and, and family and stuff, they're going to be dropping out of your life. They will. You'll find out real quick who's your real friends, who's got your back, Who's your real family? You'll find out. This is stuff that you won't believe until you experience. But trust me. I have nothing to gain from lying to you. You'll find out it's the truth. 
Go watch some of my videos. I ain't going to try to repeat everything in them videos. I have hours and hours of videos trying to help people to get into trucking and help people once they've been in trucking. Now go watch them. Call it doing your homework. That ain't the only homework. That's just helping you to figure out what you need to learn. Then you got to start doing some phone calls and talking to the family and spouses and everybody else. Can you make a living trucking? Yes, you can. Question is, can you handle the lifestyle of a trucker? With that, I want to remind you, the good Lord loves you, so do I. That's why I make these videos for you. Good luck to you if you come out here.